Welcome to Question Time. I'm Benga Ashiru. It's been days of tension in the southeast of Nigeria, with the Nigerian military unleashing Operation Python Dance in the region. The Nigerian military claims it's a mere security routine, but the social media has been awash with outcry and allegations of bloodshed, massive killings, and torture of suspected indigenous people of Biafra members by the Nigerian military. Please join in this conversation. Send us your comments on our various social media platforms showing on your screen. In the days to come, the position of the Nigerian government on IPOB becomes clearer with the proscription of IPOB as a terrorist organization. As Nigerian government alleges extreme provocation, road barricade, hate speech, and threats to national security by members of the IPOB movement. But this did not go down well in some quarters, arguing that the due process was not followed in the prescription of IPOB. This position, in a matter of days, began to win global sympathy, and some members of the international community argued that IPOB isn't a terrorist organization. In the midst of all this high drama is a search for the whereabouts of the IPOB leader, Namdekanu Adin, to speculations of a perceived reaction of the federal government to this movement. Putting this into perspective, Channel TV had a chat with Nigeria's Defense Minister, Mohammed Mansour Dan Ali. We begin with the issues affecting the legality of IPOP's prescription. Well, um, we have so many operations across the country, not in the southeast alone. We have the Operation Lafia Adoli in Northeast, we have Sharon Daji in the Northwest, we have uh, Delta Safe in South South, with other very many other operations that are across the six geographical zone. We have the Mesa, which is national, and uh, Awazi in the Southwest. So it's not a peculiar to Northeast alone. It's a very uh, ongoing exercises that train the amposes. Now, a lot of this exercise, Operation Python Dance, has to do with the perception of the people. It's been alleged that the military acted out of military mandate, that this was at its worst a civil unrest, and the police could have been sent to repel this if there was any uprising in that area. No, 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 that is not true. That is not the true uh, situation. There are many others, uh, many other areas that we had exercises. Why that of IFOP? IFOP had the intention. They saw military coming to do their uh, normal uh, constitutional job, then they interrupted. You said IPOP has a clear intention. What's the intention of IPOP? The intention of disorganizing and uh, bringing uh, chaos in the country. With all these allegations, any intelligence, analysis, and facts to that that IPOP is really a threat to peace and security of the nation. The defense headquarters, headquarters of the armed forces did their analysis. And there are so many things, factors, that directed that this IPOP group is not a peace-loving uh, group because they have gone far beyond what is expected of a peaceful and, uh, group that make what do I say in a uh, request that are within the channels of normal procedures? Why I say so? There are so many uh, things that they come up with, like they mention that they ha are forming national guards, they have formed intelligence and uh, what do you call security services. They've even gone beyond that to come up in social media and say that if their agitation is not met, they are going to bring down tools across the country, they will bring things down. So does any group that has peaceful uh, at intention go to that extent? Now the prescription of IPOB has elicited a lot of reactions now from different quarters. And many people are wondering under what legal platform is IPOB prescribed? Well, you know, it was a uh, Ministry of uh, Justice. They've gone to court and they have confirmed 
that the prescription is allowed. Before then, the armed forces have done their analysis, and part of the analysis that they mention, I mentioned National Guard, security and intelligent groups. They've gone beyond that. They were even attacking the armed forces during the exercise with fuel bombs, felting them. So how can such a group be allowed to be doing such things without any, any reasonable, any government will not allow such a thing to happen when you have a constitutional uh, institution that is looking after the nation. The country unity, the country's unity is paramount. And any group or any uh, society that wants to bring law and order down would not be allowed to do so constitutionally. The international community is saying that IPOB isn't a terrorist organization. So does this contradict the defense ministry's position? Here we have so many indices that we use in getting or enabling them as a terrorist group. One of them, like I said, any group that go beyond peaceful and constitutional means of getting things is a problem. Number two, this is a group I'm, I will not talk to you as a Nigerian, not even a defense minister, that want to bring chaos, confusion into the nation. Will you allow that or will you go with that group?